What's up guys, Billy here from Box Collectibles bringing you another toy review and today I am bringing you the review of my Mojo Dojo Casa House. Billy here from Box Collectibles bringing you another toy review and today I am reviewing the DX Caucasus Kabuto Castle or King Caucasus. Um, it is the god um, or you know the, um, the guardian mecha that has been in front of us the whole time the castle uh, and yeah so right here I can I'm showing you it in its castle mode where you can uh, show off the other uh, the shoe gods uh, that can hang out around it. Uh, we have Guardian uh, Hercules down here. And yeah, there's a lot to get into, so let's go ahead and get into it. This will be a two-part review. Uh, this review will mainly be focusing on uh, the castle and all of its modes. The next uh, review will be uh, the combination with all the mecha, all 20 mecha that have been uh, release so far um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it as always we're going to start off by looking at the box so let me clear out all this stuff real quick all right so yeah typical uh stuff with the box we have the name up here uh king carcasses kabuto uh, and that's the full name um and it's the dx version it shows that it comes with the guardian weapon uh which makes it our fifth guardian weapon which is pretty cool i hope we get a few more trinkled in somewhere, maybe repaints or something. Uh, over here on the side, we have a look at the souls that get released. Uh, these look to be all the legend ones. There's the castle, uh, and then some information down here on the bottom. A look at the, the mode I just showed you where all of them are just hanging out in front of the castle or on the castle. Here's a picture of uh, God Caucasus Kavato in its robot mode. Uh, has 380 millimeters show, saying the height. Uh, and then back here, don't look at that like last time with <laughs> um, God Tarantula. Um, and yeah, so here's all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Uh, we'll get this out of the way. Alright, so with the castle, um, it's really easy to go from mode to mode. Uh, it's, it's a quintessential brick, but it is a nicely detailed one. Looking at it, we got all that cool metallic piping, um, the horns up here, just all the hints, you know, that it was gonna become a mecha at some point. Uh, we got this red jewel, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get it into its beetle tank mode. Uh, what you want to do is have it this way. The arms unpeg from here. Uh, these will eventually go down, but we need to do some finagling with the arms real quick. Uh, the shoulders uh, for it, you want to flip them like this and then have the arms down so same thing on this side arms out turn it down like that and then the legs i'm trying to think there's another toy that does this exact same it's the it's the tank megatron from armada uh it has the same most tank transformers do the same thing but yeah 100 percent like same same transformation uh but yeah so there it is and it's tank mode it's pretty cool uh i enjoy i enjoy a solid nice looking brick uh it does the same thing that the other beetles do where its wings can splay open like that um and yeah while we're in the tank mode with the wings open, I figured it'd be cool to show off that you can do uh, this with King Oger. It doesn't, you know, size-wise fit well. Sorry, this camera's gonna be shaky so I can just show this off. Um, 
But I mean, you can do the you know the battle mode thing, uh, like similar to Bokinger, um, with Die Boken on type of Die Voyager. So that's cool. Uh, All right, now let's transform this thing. Uh, so it's another you know simple transformation. We close these wings. Uh, we'll stand it up like this, and as you can see. I forgot to put that down, so we'll put it down there. Uh, the legs just fold down, simple like this. Uh, you can have them straight like that, or you know, a little bit open as as most mecha do nowadays. Um, the arms fold down. They'll be like this. You want to pop them out, fold down, pop it out. Uh, these horns right here. Uh, it's important, the head comes off, uh, it's important that you take them from this way and turn them so the gold bits are on the outside and then they pop on to the shoulders using these clips. They just pop on. It's very finagly uh, for that connection joint, but it's the type of joint it is. Um, so it just pops on and then Bring it in closer so we can show the face reveal. And it has some red eyes in there, nice mask. The chest is very reflective, it looks like um, Ultimate Gose, Gose Ultimate, that's what it is. Looks like Gose Ultimate for some reason, <laughs> just a face. Uh, which, I mean, their symbols are pretty similar to uh, Gosagers, so it makes doesn't make sense, but, you know, there's callbacks, I guess, um, for God Hercules. Now, mine, for some reason, is very loose on this connection point, and that's for the next video, uh, where it disconnects, but it's really simple to become an Axie. It fell off. I'll just connect it after, but you open these up, uh, this, while it's on here, you just turn it one way. Doesn't really matter if you want it to like be seen while it's in this hand. Uh, in pictures, you want the inside, you want the more detailed part on the inside. And yeah, so here, here it is. DX Caucasus Kabuto uh, Castle in robot mode. Um, I will know the official name eventually. It'll be in the title. So just uh, bear with me. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty cool mecha, uh, like I said the legs you can do however you want um here's some comparisons here's king oger since we had it out and then tarantula knight so we have the three three main mecha for uh king oger all together and I mean, yeah, if, they, if this was the end of it, it'd be a good line, but I guess there's more coming. So, uh, keep an eye out on my channel for that. Uh, and like I said, next time we're going to be combining these Scorpy, Kabaton, Bada, uh, the Centipede, Cicada, Snail and rolling. All these will be combined in the next video, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, your thoughts down in the comments below on how you think King Oger's going, the toys so far, if you're collecting them, which one's your favorite, things like that. Make sure you're following me on Box Collectibles on Instagram. Uh, link in the description. I'll also have a link where you can buy uh, the castle uh, and uh, where I go for all the other uh, King Oger stuff. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Oh, yeah, and make sure uh, I did upload a Megazord ranking video of all the Power Rangers uh, Megazords, the core Megazords. Me and my friend Illusions did that. Uh, we spent a lot of time on it. So I would appreciate it if you checked it out. It's a good background noise if you're trying to listen. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.